two Rainbow Six videos in a row. What am I, a fanboy? No, I'm not. In fact, I'm gonna be complaining about Rainbow Six Siege here because I have a grievance to air. Now, like with everybody, I'm telling you a problem that I have. You might not have it, you might not relate to it, you might not care about it, and that's really out of my control. I'm just gonna talk about how I feel about Rainbow Six Siege. Because I love the game, and for the most part, and I can't say this for certain other franchises, I love its YouTube community. For the most part, there's some duds out there. I'm not gonna pretend that I contribute that much to the Rainbow Six Siege community, but I wanted to say something as a as a new player that's been playing the game now for just over a month, and I'm level 71, almost level 72. I'm not even ranked yet. I don't. I really just play casual with my friends. I'm, I enjoy the games. Okay, I'm not gonna get too into that. But I want to say that Rainbow Six has one of the best communities and one of the worst player bases. Hopping into a match of Rainbow Six Siege has a 50-50 chance of being awful. And not even because of my losses or the games that I don't perform well. Those are, for the most part, on me. Of course, yeah, sometimes teammates could have done something better, sometimes the enemies did something really cheesy I couldn't account for. Whatever, I'm not really mad about losing games or anything. What I'm, what I'm irritated with is that most matches have a team killer, a smurf, someone that's a way higher level than me, like level like 200 or like 180 and they're diamond or they're platinum ranked. And so every match is a little disproportionately fucky compared to the match you played before it. The matches that are 5v5 against people in my skill rank and there's no trolling or cheesing or team killing going on, no griefing of any sort, and it's just like a well-balanced, fun match, those are what I live for. But I don't like it when the enemy team starts killing themselves or killing their friends and 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 doing weird tactics and just kind of playing like, fuck it, I don't care, it's just casual. Like, I understand that there's like two game modes, there's casual and ranked. Excluding the PvE modes, there's casual and ranked. So a lot of people that go into ranked, they try really hard, but the people that go into casual, they just kind of go in there to fuck around. Well, maybe I'm just playing the wrong game, but the way I look at my favorite shooters is that I can hop into them and consistently have a good match. Now, a good match to me is not one where I do well or win. Keep that in mind. I'm not talking about doing well or winning. I'm talking about a fair and balanced match. It's hard to learn a game when you're getting your ass kicked by a platinum level 180 when you're at level 70 who really has only played, I think, seven matches of ranked. And I think the matchmaking system is to blame for that one. And then people that kind of, you know, cheese the matchmaking system by creating a smurf account. Oh boy, well that's even better. Because it says he's like a level 22. But you go and look at his gamer score and he only has a 100 gamer score. And he's spawn peeking and getting 4Ks and aces. And it, oh, it's, it's hilarious. My teammates kill me. My randoms kill me. I'll have matches where my teammates just come and destroy my gadgets. It's it's aggravating. I I really want to love Rainbow Six Siege. And for the most part for me, it's a 10 out of 10. I, I love playing it. But there's one thing that gets in the way. And it's really frustrating that it's the player base. Similarly, but not exactly, there's an issue in Call of Duty World War II where every time I hop into a match, I'm so considerably better than every one of my teammates I can never rely on anyone else to pick up slack. I can never rely on somebody when my aim is off or my reaction time is slow. I can't. So to have a good match and pull out a win in Call of Duty, I have to put on my tryhard panties because no one else is going to. That is really the only other game where the player base actively irritates me. Not including Overwatch players that throw a little hissy bitch fit every time they don't get exactly what they want. Overwatch, in my experience, isn't toxic, it's whiny. Similar to this video, I guess. What I'm saying is, is that I wish I could hop into Rainbow Six Siege matches and have just a nice 5v5 match with people around my skill level. They can be a little bit better than me. They can be a little bit worse than me. But having enemies that are just there to troll their own teammates and kill them, it's not fun, it's not competitive. And in Ranked, weirdly enough, it happens there too. I've gone into ranked matches with like three friends and our one of our random players on our team we're not fully communicating with and refuses to join our Xbox Live party and isn't in game chat. They do something idiotic and stupid and start to throw the match for us. 
So maybe this complaint is stupid and, and, and maybe I'm just being a baby. But the only things that have been bothering me about Rainbow Six since I started playing it has never been my skill level, my ability to get a kill, or my inability to get a kill. It's not the problem. I'm okay with learning a game and being bad at it. I've said this before, some of my favorite games are games that I started out being terrible at, but it encouraged me to do better. But when the game is, for lack of a better word, fucky, it's kind of annoying. Again, team killing, smurfs, crazy high levels, and then there's just this like underlying level of toxicity, like you know, like a teammate breaking your rook plate package or taking down your, your ADS for no reason and then walking away. Or people like teabagging you before you've died. It's it's aggravating. I've had randoms just let me bleed out on the floor, and this is one of the reasons I didn't like the game when I first played it, is that that's how the player base treated me. Now, I know, I know that a lot of people have probably already commented this, but please keep your, well, come and play on PC, come and play on PS4, it's better over here. I'm sorry. No, it's not. The human condition is not fixed on your platform of choice. Now, PC players are usually more competitively minded, and they don't always act like toddlers, but I'm not buying the game again on a different platform where I don't have the operators and I don't have my rank or my level or anything. I, I'm not even ranked really, but I, I don't wanna go restart on a different platform to get like, what, 25% less toxicity? Now, this won't keep me from playing the game, but I just want to say, Rainbow Six Siege is one of the best games on my Xbox. I love playing it. It's very enjoyable. It's so much better than it was when I first got into it or tried to get into it. I love the game dearly. I'm going to be go I'm going to go play it like right now, actually. But the worst thing about it is the player base. The people in the every match, you know, the every match players. They kind of ruin it for me. I've had bad ranked and casual experiences. And don't worry, don't worry, I very well so plan on getting good. Don't worry, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna go get good. I'm gonna go get good right now. I'm gonna go play right now. Here I go getting good, guys. See you when I see ya. Goodbye. Concussion grenade assist. Whoa, vigil. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is my actual in-life reaction to when I see a spider in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dancing all over the place. Yeet. Calling your mom. <laughs> she comes over, she's like, give me the controller. That was great. Oh man, that last round was fucking choice.